What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you notice, there was no intro. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, I know a lot of people usually don't watch through the whole video on my channel. Like all my videos, nobody ever watches all the way through them. And some do, I'm not saying that everybody don't. But for the ones that don't, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this out there and say that I'm not getting rid of the channel. I'm not shutting the channel down. I'm not giving up on it. But there will be no more Simpson Built. Now I am gonna be taking a step back from Simpson Built. With that being said, I have another name that I have sat down and decided to come up with. Uh, the biggest reason why I'm making this change is I'm starting to take this channel a little bit more serious. Uh, it started out with me just throwing content together and just putting it on this channel and having something else to do, show you guys the process of what I go through with building this car uh, and pretty much just having fun with it. So I'm taking it more serious now. Uh, I was doing it, like I said, just, just to have fun and rather than flooding my Facebook and my Instagram with content, I could spread it out and put it on my YouTube channel. Now, my channel is not really that big right now. Uh, I'm probably roughly, like, content consistency. Probably roughly about a year and probably not even a year and a half. Uh, I say a little under a year and a half. I've been consistently making uploads and stuff rather than periodically, like every two months or so. Uh, but I can honestly say that the channel is growing, it's getting there. I know it takes time, you gotta have patience, stuff like that. Uh, and eventually your your name will get out there. But I've sat back and the name that I have thought about for probably two weeks now, and I think I'm gonna stick with it, I'm gonna fall through with it, and I'll give you the run around on why I've made this decision and why I have come up with his name. Now, for those of you that don't know where I live, I live in Kentucky, and as you know, there's not really that many YouTubers in Kentucky. I do have two good friends that have their own channel and upload their content and stuff, and as far as I know, Kentucky-wise, we're the only three that actually like try to reach out and push our channel to to its limits and try to get our name out there uh i'd say there probably is more in kentucky but as i know of it's just us three uh you got my buddy dustin that hooked us up with our dry shed with the grip and dip racing he got his channel and then my buddy dallas he lives in the Louisville area, and he's got his channel as well, and it's called Took Off. They are both awesome dudes, really good friends, and they're very dedicated to their builds. And with me being as dedicated to mine as I am, I think that I need to take his YouTube channel a little bit more serious, rather than just something for fun. Uh, still not in it for the money. I mean, the money would be nice, but... I'm not, I'm not really making this channel to just go for the money. Uh, if it comes, then it comes. That's, that's how I see it. Uh, and I would be thankful if it does and be able to do this for a living and have a less hour job, spend time with my family and stuff and have more time messing around with this rather than working my 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. work shift working in a factory. So, I'm going to take this a little bit more serious, 
and uh, see if I can't push out my, my YouTube channel a little bit further and put more heart into it. So here it is. So the name that I have decided to come up with for my YouTube channel, I'm sure there will be people that will judge on it. I think it's a good idea and before you go ahead and judge on it, uh, after I give the name, I want to give a brief feedback on why I come up with that name and my little backstory on the reason why I did come up with that name. So the name that I did come up with is Underdog Lifestyle. Now it's completely spelled out, it's underdog all one word and lifestyle all one word as well. So two separate words, underdog lifestyle. Uh, I've already worked on an intro. I'm working on some uh, designs and stuff for, for the channel. Uh, working on some really, really dope stickers. Working on all of that. Uh, I'm probably gonna push out a lot more merch shirt wise, hat wise, beanie, stuff like that. Uh, stuff that you all really want to see. And uh, I think with this name, I have a lot more ideas that I come up with, a bigger variety of designs and everything. So here's the reason why I, decide, I decided to uh, go with Underdog Lifestyle. So all my life, I've been this small guy, especially in the car community that, that nobody really ever knows. I mean, you say Chris Simpson in any other state and I guarantee you probably never really heard of me. Uh, now with that being said, I decided to go with that name because I consider myself as an underdog. Now, if you look up the definition of an underdog, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, another example is in the car community, as much hard time and money I put into this car, you still don't get recognized by all the bigger people in the car community, whether it's the stance community, the racing community, uh, this car show community, it doesn't matter, drifting, whatever you can think of, autocross, everything. There's always gonna be underdogs. And you know you're an underdog whenever you're doing what I'm doing and you're not getting recognized. You are, but you're not. And the reason why I say you're not is you got these higher up people that have a really, really good bank account, like an amount, I guess you could say. And they overlook you because you're not making X amount of money a year. You don't have all of the name brand higher end parts, uh, high end wheels, like three piece wheels for the guys that do showcase and stuff like that. Uh, it can fall in, under any category. It's not just drag racing like what I do. You don't you don't get recognized by these people. They, they look past you because you're not on their level. And I think that is a big issue with the car scene is for that reason. Uh, so yes, I consider myself as an underdog and I'm completely 100% okay with that because the heart that an underdog has is usually a lot stronger than the people that are at the top of the tier bracket. Now being an underdog is honestly not a bad thing at all. It, it shouldn't bring you down as a person. It shouldn't bring you down with your build. It shouldn't shouldn't give up just because you're an underdog. Take being an underdog as an advantage. Push yourself to make a name for yourself and, and get yourself out there to where people actually recognize you. They'll be like, hey, who's, 
Who's this guy? Like, where did he come from? Make them wonder how you got up to their level with absolutely no support, not even the amount of support that they have, the sponsorships, the free parts that get sent to them just to put it on their cars and and just sit, go down the track because they're making money off of you when you're advertising these parts on your car. Say, I don't know, say Billy goes down a track in his 92 Civic that's case swapped, all wheel drive, and he's running all these higher end parts. And say, Speed Factory, for an example, uh, Speed Factory contact Billy and said, Hey man, I see you have X amount of followers on Instagram or something like that. And uh, we would also love to see you take your current intercooler off and we want to provide you with this thousand horsepower dual back door intercooler and we'll ship it out to you even if you're just paying shipping price but you don't even pay the retail price they just they give it to you and uh say he gets back with them and he's like yeah i'll do that so he puts that part on his car no charge all he did was pay shipping he goes down a track, say he runs a 9-2 and a quarter mile at like 160 mile an hour. Just throwing some numbers out there. Uh, all these followers that Billy has will see that he has all these other parts on his car and see that he's running a speed factory and a cooler. Then they're pretty much going to try to play copyright and check out his build on Instagram or on his YouTube channel if he has one. And they're going to be starting to order these parts of like, well, he went this fast in a quarter mile at this mile an hour. I would like to be on that level, so I'm going to run these parts. So pretty much what I'm getting at is when you're not an underdog, you pretty much get handouts. Uh, if not, you get really good deals. There's nothing against that whatsoever. If you get those deals, if you get those handouts, kudos to you, that's awesome. That means you pushed yourself to get where you're at. Mainly what I'm trying to say is, being me as an underdog, and I have no sponsorships on this car. Everything that you see on this car, in this video right now, and what you don't see that you know that I have, I paid full price. There was no discounted parts. There was nothing given to me. It all came out of my pocket because I had no sponsorships because I'm an underdog. Everything all-wheel drive related in the rear which is S1 built, my trailing arms, my diff mount kit, the whole nine yards on the rear, that was all paid for. I got roughly about 3,000, maybe a little bit more than 3,000, just in what I listed. Everything as far as this intercooler, turbo, the mounts, $500 and just the purple hardware from Downstar, I paid out of my pocket, paid full retail price. Nothing was free, no discounts whatsoever. I busted my tail to get this car to where it's at. Yes, I have made a lot of changes. As you see, there is no intake manifold. Uh, I got that sold because I'm going a different route. Probably, probably gonna get a skunk to ultra center feed and uh, just run that instead I do have a new turbo manifold on the way I have not presented that I have not given any details on it but I did pull the trigger on it for Black Friday so I got a discount on that uh, which I did take advantage of 
that wasn't a discount just for me. That was a Black Friday sale. Uh, so yeah, pretty much what I'm saying is, is, is I'm, a, I'm an underdog. I, I don't get noticed and stuff like that. And I'm just, just a small town guy trying to make a name of myself, trying to push myself out there to success. And that's that's pretty much it, man. It's just I just see myself as as a guy on the come up, small town guy on the come up. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be the be the new YouTube name. It's gonna be Underdog Lifestyle. So you'll see you'll see my lifestyle as an underdog through that lens right there, and. You'll see me push myself as hard as I can to be successful in this race community. And who knows, maybe one day I'll I'll be recognized. But but until then I'm a I'm gonna sit back here in this in this two car garage and and put in work. Try to get this car to where I want and meet the goals that I have set. Once I have met those goals, then I'll make new ones and push it even further. It's, it's a never ending process. So I really appreciate those that, that understand uh, this YouTube name change and hopefully you get somewhat of an idea of the reason why I have made this change and the reason why I've chose the name that I have chose. And uh, and if I lose some followers over it and some support, I understand. I'm not upset whatsoever. And if I gain some, that's amazing. Because I know, like I said, there is a lot of underdogs out there that, that feel like they don't get noticed when they've tried as hard as they could and don't feel like they're getting anywhere. So maybe I can, I can reach out to other people that give herself that underdog label and uh, maybe I can show them not to give up and keep pushing through so I'm not going to sit here and talk all night I just wanted to get this off my chest and go ahead and let you all know what the big surprise is so my last video I said that I had a surprise and this is it so I already got a, got a couple ideas on designs and I just got to get some shirts made and stuff like that. I'm going to be taking it slow. I'm not just going to go too crazy off the bat because I don't want to make a large amount and just be sitting on them because like I said, the YouTube channel is still small and uh, I already got my intro made up. It may change a couple times, like a couple small tweaks here and there, but as of right now, I do have an idea made up for one, and I have started on it. And it's it's looking pretty promising right now, so I'll probably end up be using it. So, uh, I'd like to welcome you guys to the Underdog Lifestyle. So, thank you to those that actually sat through and watched this whole video, and actually got the full details on everything. If you do not care, please just give this video a like. That would help me out a lot. And uh, if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining in. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and hit the like button as well if you are new. And we'll see you on the next video for uh, Underdog Lifestyle. I'm out. Peace.